I have some sisters who call me, say, look, Sheikh, the intimate relationship is disgusting. I feel like it is awful. I can do anything in life but not have sex with my husband or with anyone. It's, it's awful. It disgusts me. Oh, okay, what about this man? He is stuck now because he got married in order to restrain his sexual desire to what is lawful. So she tells me, I don't mind. If he wants to get married again, fine. But please convince him that I don't want to share bed with him as far as having sexual relations. So there is a list of reasons. If Allah the Almighty were to forbid polygyny, period, it would have become very problematic. Then a man would have to divorce his wife in order to marry another one whom he finds that he's attracted to or... I'm not going to speak about uh, the demography and the number of women outnumbering men and all of that. But I'm saying that if a woman cannot tolerate living with another co-wife and she says, I want to be out, it's all right. It's absolutely all right. Islam would not uh, ordain or oblige you to live in a marriage life against your will. And we have even some women who went to the Prophet ﷺ and said, you know, I cannot live with this man anymore. He's good-mannered, he's very rich, he's very generous, but I cannot develop a taste for him. So Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, okay, pay him back his dowry. And he ordered him to divorce her.